I love the way this play begins. I love that an actor comes on stage and says, look, I know you bought tickets to this play, but we ain't much. We don't have any props. We've got a few basic costumes. We've got too few people, but we're going to tell you the, you know, the greatest story ever told, if you're willing to come with us. So in this particular production, I'm, I'm wanting to, to look at it through the eyes of a group of young people. And I've always been struck by the true story of a, uh, a group of boys that were stuck in a bomb shelter in 1941. For 71 consecutive nights, they were bombed by the Luftwaffe. It became a way of life. So every Thursday night, they would, they would gather local people who were also down there and they would perform a play to them that they'd rehearsed for the previous six nights. And they did several Shakespeare plays in that time. They were eventually all killed in a direct hit um, by a Luftwaffe bomb. It is the civilians who suffer so profoundly in modern warfare. So to watch a group of young people get themselves through this dark night of the soul by opening this play by Shakespeare where a chorus says we can create incredible stories out of absolutely nothing is I guess the, the premise that I'm using. So it's a modern conflict, a group of young people who are examining their own capacity for savagery, examining their own capacity for courage and brotherhood, examining their own susceptibility to, um, to spin too and to propaganda and to all this we band of brothers business, which is on the one hand very powerful and inspiring and a bit spine tingling. On the other hand, you kind of go, young Harry, you led these men to their death and now you're trying to warm them up by giving them inspirational speeches. You know, it, it, the play is wonderfully ambiguous in that way. So hopefully all of those things can coexist in, in this production.